Unit 5. Recording 1. Listen and write D for David, P for Pamela in the boxes below. Put a cross if a sentence is not in the conversation. Hey David, would you like to see a funny video on the internet? Sure, what's it about? A baby is dancing in a funny way. Okay, let's watch it. Oh, look at him. Oh my god, he's so funny. It was great. Tell me, David, for what purposes do you use the internet? Well, I usually play online games, but my mother gets angry with me when I spend too much time. I can imagine. I love using the social networking sites, and my mother sometimes gets angry with me too. What do you do on the social networking sites? I usually upload some photos and make comments about my friends' photos. I, I see. I chat on the internet because I like making new friends from other countries. You know, I want to learn about different cultures. That's interesting. Do you get help from the internet when you do your homework? Yes, I do. I always use search engines when I do my homework. Unit 5. Recording 2. Listen and answer the questions. Can you help me please, Amelia? Sure, Luke. What's the problem? Well, well, I need to send my project to my teacher's email, but I don't know how to attach a file. No problem. That's very easy. Let me help you. First, you should log in to your email. OK, I'll do it now. Now you should click New button, then type your teacher's email address. William1980 at tmail.com And what should I do now? Write about the subject here. Now click Insert button and then Files as Attachments part. OK. I think I should find and choose my project file on the computer. 
Exactly. What's the name of the file? Here it is. Its name is Math Project December. Double click it and upload the file to your email. Can I send it now? Yeah. Thanks, Amelia. I owe you. Never mind. Unit 5. Recording 4. Listen and circle the correct ones. Hello, Zoe speaking. Hi Zoe, this is Benjamin. How are you doing? Great, thanks. Listen Zoe, Anna and I want to buy an online flight ticket to Turkey. But this is the first time. Can you help us, please? Sure. First, do you want to buy a round trip? What do you mean by that exactly? I mean, do you want to go and come back? No, only one way. OK, click one way. Then fill in the locations and departure time. Then click Next. From London Heathrow to Delamon Airport on 21st April. All right, and now? Now, will you choose refundable or non-refundable prices? Sorry, I can't follow you. Can you explain what it means? In other words, if you choose non-refundable, it is cheaper, but you can't make any changes. If you choose refundable, it is more expensive but you can make changes. Well, 
Let's choose non-refundable then. Now click Next and choose the type of payment. OK. Now type the credit card number, cardholder's name, expiry date and CVV number. CVV number? What does it mean? Look at the back of your credit card. CVV number means the last three numbers there. I got it. That's three, four, five. Thank you for your help, Zoe. No problem. Take care. Bye. Unit 5. Recording 6. Pair work. Complete the conversation with your friend. Then, listen again and check. Hello, Zoe speaking. Hi Zoe, this is Benjamin. How are you doing? Great, thanks. Listen, Zoe, Anna and I want to buy an online flight ticket to Turkey, but this is the first time. Can you help us, please? Sure. First, do you want to buy a round trip? What do you mean by that exactly? I mean, do you want to go and come back? No, only one way. OK, click one way. Then fill in the locations and departure time. Then click Next. From London Heathrow to Delamon Airport on 21st April. All right, and now? Now, will you choose refundable or non-refundable prices? Sorry, I can't follow you. Can you explain what it means? In other words, if you choose non-refundable, it is cheaper, but you can't make any changes. If you choose refundable, it is more expensive, but you can make changes. Well, let's choose non-refundable then. Now click Next and choose the type of payment. OK. Now type the credit card number, cardholder's name, expiry date and CVV number. CVV number? What does it mean? Look at the back of your credit card. CVV number means the last three numbers there. I got it. That's three, four, five. Thank you for your help, Zoe. No problem. Take care. Bye.